see the games I got in the back. Should I lick it? Dude, bro. Hey, we're back with Secret Castle, and last week Jason drove to the ends of the earth to buy a massive set of collections uh, that we are just overrun with at the store right now. We want to share some of that with you, but first, I wanted to thank you guys for 100 freaking thousand subscribers on YouTube. That is insane for a small business like us. We are stoked about that. Thank you so much. Keep on hitting that subscribe button, telling your meme all, all that jazz. Again, thank you guys so much. We're just mad humbled, but yeah, let's get back into some of that awesome stuff that Jason brought from Uhlenberg. <laughs> All right, just got off the phone with Jason. He told us to wait outside. No idea what he means, but uh, we're out here chilling. He's got me, he's got Amanda. Woo! Oh shit, what is that? Oh, baby! Oh my god. That's the old man. Oh yeah, baby. I, I can't out of get out of retirement. Wait, you see the games I got in the back? Check it out. I went all the way out. Greenville, Amanda, why are you in the free bin? I, I was told to sit here. I didn't tell her. I didn't tell her. Comment, I never told her to get the free. Fuck, I forgot to change shirts. Damn it. Damn, it moved around a little bit all the way back. <laughs> Dude messaged me on Facebook, Old Flame, right? He used to be a flipper like 10 years ago, and we used to butt heads a lot, but he's selling out. He's done flipping. I think, I don't know. He just don't want to do it no more, but whatever. That's cool, he called me. I say that because when he showed me the pictures at first, I was like, no way you want to sell this to me and you don't want to sell it yourself. But we got some dark stones, some fantasies, some fire. We got Dreamcast. We got Gran Turismo's. I don't know, Final Fantasy something. Hold on, there's some, there's some crazy shit here. Oh wait, hold up. Look at that. Look at that. World Another of Freight. Card, Half either. price books, ten dollars. Ooh, with a note. I'm seeing this for the first time. I didn't even look at it. I just trusted him. What's this? That's the cheat codes. That's the cheat codes. Doll or Kiao common. Doll shadow common. You can't get out. What? I can't get out. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. Christ. Oh, I'm too old for this. Reno longer. Hey. Xeno Gears? Oh Nobody likes Xeno Gears. Dude, they love Xeno Gears. The cheapest way to play Chrono Trigger on the three pack. Oh my God. Oh. Where'd that? Ooh, ooh, I be dropping all kinds of stuff. Here's ID. <laughs> Why don't you take care of your Little games? Oh man, I lost that $300 game. You lost a $300 game? You remember what it was? I didn't lose it, it's in the van somewhere. Yeah, it was that one that cost a bunch of money and then people asked me if it's, oh, is this sealed? Oh shit, look at that. Ooh. Siphon filter, yeah, but it's siphon factory filter. sealed. It's still cool. Yeah, but it's Don't open it, man. Uh, I just wanna rip that plastic right off that bad boy. No! No! Look at this. Straight out the holler, look at that. Look at Fire. I never see custom robo. I saw it though, Millenburg County one. There's even more, look. Gun grade? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. This is where I was like, when are you lying? Why you always lying? Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be fibbing. Like, this dude, he was an eBayer for a long time. And I'm just like, you don't wanna sell that? Damn, no manual. My swear it was $300 gaming or somewhere. God, I hate that name. Look at this. Jet car radio? Why do you hate it? I hate that name because in Japan it was Jet Set Radio and that just sounds so much better than Jet Grind Radio. It just rolls off the tongue better. I didn't know that. You got all kinds of interesting information. Breath of Fire, never in stock, in stock now. Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, Vandal Hearts. Dude, we gotta figure out where this Half Price Books is and get our asses down there. Because apparently they be giving it away. Half Price Books, we be giving it away. The Half Price Books. <laughs> I've heard about it. It's like a used bookstore and people just give them their video games for free and they put them out for sale, but they don't look them up like Goodwill does. Now I had some PS2 games. I don't know where they went. You seen them PS2 games? Mm. I had that one. It's called something three. Found it, Zach found it. All right. Part two, kind of expensive. We got part three. Right here, leave the pause on it. The Xeno Saga three. Why did I not know that? The Xeno Saga complete straight out of Muhlenberg County. That's the great thing about like these like out of the way counties and cities like Muhlenberg County or Island or all these things is like these video games just get trapped there and they're just there for years and years and years and nobody knows about them and then they end up in a Goodwill for $5.
You are 100% right, but you should tell people that because then they're going to try to find it. But yeah, or in this case, it looks like someone dumped all their stuff at Half Price Books. This guy probably got a good deal on it, said, I'm not going to flip it myself. I'm just going to sell it to Jason for some primo ass price. I had to pay for this. I think it was like 3000 Oh yeah, let me tell you that story. This guy thought I was going to his house, never really met him in real life. He wants to meet me at Uncle Lee's in the parking lot with three bands. And I'm just like, local law enforcement, all this other stuff. You can't just be out here counting 3000 They're going to think you're like some type of you know shady business especially showing up in a van like this but everything went fine i was kind of uncomfortable i uh, made a deal with them got him paid and i was like it's just another day at the game store all this is pretty solid i mean i mean this sucks but like this is popular these are like you know games that people will buy they're all playable but he do have that one game hold up now i was surprised because this also goes into your lost in milmer county forever type story where is it there it is there it is Back off the line. Oh, Includes the Fubar pack. Fubar. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one just really soon jumped up. It did. That's bro. Sword of Berserk. All right, yeah, that, that's great and great. You gotta tell them about the features of this bad boy, this mean machine. Y'all wanna know about my van? Hell yeah! Let me show you. Come over here. So you wanna be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You gotta hit us up. To get a pimped out ride. Damn right. Back in the day, back in the day, this was a great piece. Got that sweet black steering wheel with the cruise control, the buttons are a little bit removed at this time but you know we might get some replacement buttons pretty soon check this out y'all don't know about this look i put the key in the ignition Ugh. six channel stereo changer you can program all your stations and switch them at your convenience it's got the bass it's got the treble it's got the fade it's also got the sweet air conditioning unit here you can store all your crap in this thing right there i got a chainsaw don't worry about my chainsaw let me show you the other side though Wait till you see the room shift. Feast your eyes. Full couch seat all up in here. Wood grain, two cup holster. Get me in here. I got my turtles cup, just like that. I got, let's see, let's see. I got my Supreme alcohol sprayer because the last time I drove this, there was a, uh, my sweet con raisins california raisins sheet but yeah this this is nice got g1 dinosaurs transformers up in here are your um seats not bolted down this yeah no it's not bolted down why would it be bolted down you can actually this is fully removable you need more crap in here you just rip this bad boy out and then you can put some more crap in here so did these seats originally come with the van like this nobody knows so this could just be a couch i bought this on marketplace for 1100 cash Stop, 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 stop. Can we talk about how he doesn't always just buy fire? Because there's plenty of junk over there. There's no way any of this is good. Jason? Yes? What's on the floor here? This is a collection that, that just came in. It was from that same guy. However, he buys stuff and then flips stuff. So this doesn't look as incredible as what was in the van, but it is still pretty good. Pretty good stuff. I got this sweet Nintendo backpack here. What? A Pokemon Coliseum! Look, yeah. That, Whoa! I put that over there because oh. it, it, the game's not inside. Oh, wow. You got loose disc messages. We need it. Primo prices right now. Wait, how much did you give him? All right, this doesn't look like much, but I did spend nine hundred dollars on it. Nine hundred? There, there's some value here for real. Like sometimes you have to buy the good with the bad. That's just how it goes with some of these old timers, especially from Millenburg County. He wasn't even old. I don't even know what's in that bag. I kind of went on the honor system here. He dumped it in this morning. Uh, customers have been tripping on it over all day. Maybe the Pokemon <laughs> Coliseum's in here. Dude, that would be holy shit if it Damn, was. Damn, no fucking I would see him. This needs to be charged. That needs to be charged. But look, look what we got. Nintendo number one, $140. Nintendo number two, $140. Don't come at me on my prices. These will be refurbished by me personally with new pin connectors one and day. some baller ass accessories. So look, we're up 300. I haven't seen this one yet. Hopefully this one works. So when he came in, I quoted him on the phone. 900 and he said he wants 950 and i was like look if two of your playstation 2s work i'll give you 950 and i knew for sure that they wouldn't um, because 
functions like this. Typically, the PlayStation doesn't work. But um, that's why they have two. That's the only console we need right now. So that's why I said that. And you know, uh, he came in and plugged up the two consoles he had. They didn't work. Hopefully, one of these does, and you can come out ahead on this. So Ew. Hold on. <laughs> Flip that bad boy over for me. Should I lick it? Amanda imported Famicom Power Glove. Where do they do that at? See your castle, have... baby. Let's Wait, it's imported? It. Yeah, this is for Famicom, not NES. So, holy shit, I've never seen it in my life. I love the Power Glove. It's so bad. Freebin pile. Why is this in a free bin? And original oh, Xbox shit. 360. No. I was going to call you out on all the bugs that are visible on the outside. Oh, damn. Ew. Oh, my God. Why'd you let me touch this for that long? Please take it. Uh, anyway, the other Xbox that we're putting in the free bin is the original model. Most oftentimes have the no Red way. Wing Air. No way. These aren't, these aren't roaches. This is, this is not roaches. Right here? That's not roaches. I'm pretty sure that's an LED mod. So Amanda, have you... Oh my god, they are LED lights. No shit. These are LED No lights. shit. I've seen LEDs on anything. Microwaves. Bruh. What? But I've seen LED mods on legit everything. You name it. Swing sets, bicycles. The fuck? Secret Castle, this is Jason. Let's see this beast in all of its glory. Come on, shine, brother. Wait, did it just go off immediately? I heard a beep. It was a very faint beep. It was a faint beep. We got glow. We got glow. Red glow. We said red or green glow. Green or orange. Oh, so not red? Not red. Red's bad. So you mean the power brick? Power brick's bad. So this piece of shit doesn't work. Okay, so that one's orange now. Orange good. Orange good. If it goes red, we know that we're just breaking shit with broke shit. Here it goes. Feast your eyes. Oh, it is an LED mod! Damn! Damn, crack open the Hennessy. I bet there's some mod of games and some porn on here. Can you say porn on YouTube? <laughs> Let's check it out. Can you watch the porn on YouTube? I was just hoping that <laughs> <laughs> we've gone too far. <laughs> this is where the value is right here. This other stuff? This Look at that. See, I got like 200 in these two. Ow! TV. All right, you got RPG. That's like 80 bucks. Uh, Yoshi's Island. Everybody wants that. Mario Kart. Back in stock. Wings. Good heavens. Wings. Mario World. DK2. DK1. Damn Super Game Boy. Tetris, Tetris and Dr. Mario as the combo. Glazed right over MK3. Where? Oh, here it is. Who cares? Monopoly. Last action hero. We've looked at all the good stuff. Anyway, look at that. There's $900 million right here. Justified. So yeah, that means a pretty good purchase. All in all, 4 out of 10 would play. There's an OG Xbox. We got some loosey goosey. We got more. In, in my, that's fire. That, that's, that's great. That's fire. Holy shit. It's sticky. Oh man, be careful. Hold on, don't just pull it off. They're sticky. Oh shit. Bro, this is like 120 bucks. Loose disc. <laughs> yes. Buying a collection using unconventional store policy. Uh, typically. You can't, you can't teach this. I mean, well, you can. You can't teach this? What do you mean? You can't. I mean, like. There's no manual for, all right, when the guy comes in with his bunch of boxes of sometimes to do and sometimes good, just throw him a price. Yeah, well, see, that's what I'm trying to literate because uh, the world views the uh, pre-owned game industry as black and white point of sale systems. However, where we live, there are some old timers and old G's that are just from a different era of flea market negotiations. They see something as quantity, not quality, and they just want a price. And that's just the way they are. And old Fart Jason sort of knows their language and will do this on occasion, but not typically. We just, it'd be way easier if you just came in the store and uh, we'll look up all your items or um, give you a price based on our knowledge of what the current market is. However, that's not where we are right now. We are in DEF CON 5 of the shit. So we're gonna get started on getting all that put in the system, consoles clean, disc buffed, all that jazz. But what do you think? Did Jason spend way too much on all that crap in the second part of the video? 
or did the grails in the van make it all worthwhile? Let me know in the comments. But we gotta go for today. Thank you guys so much again for 102,000 subscribers on YouTube. Awesome, incredible. Keep on doing it. Like and subscribe and tell your people all that jazz. Thank you so much. Keep the faith. Keep safe. Good night.